Hi, and welcome back to Pear Tech Talk. In the last video, uh, I showed how to install the dependencies that is needed and install also the mission profile into the ST67 uh, Wi-Fi module that is needed for doing the further development. And in this video, I thought that uh, we should take a look in how to uh, import a program that is already provided in the STM cube uh, for, for uh, this module uh, to just get it started. And they have a project that they call an Echo and uh, they claim that this would be like an entry start or platform uh, that you can build upon. So we take a look into um, their wiki page and uh, I will put the link in the URL or the URL in the description below so you can easily find it. But if we take a look in here, uh, then we go to connectivity and uh, then we go down to Wi-Fi, of course. Then we can see that there are several uh, options for us there. Uh, introduction to Wi-Fi, uh, something about uh, the, the module itself, and then also the X-Cube where the software and application and the demo programs are uh, residing in. And then it's, that is where we're going to look into. So we open this one. And then we can see again that there is several topics that we can dive into. And uh, I have decided that we should take a look on the Echo application. And if we take a look here, it says it aims to demonstrate the TCP Echo feature of a Wi-Fi. It serves as a starting point for developing and other projects. So now that we know that this is the project that we are looking for, uh, there are a lot of details uh, further down, uh, but I will do the demo instead so you can have this as a reference. But you do like this, you start your uh, trusty old uh, STM32 cube IDE. In this application I have decided to do it uh, the STM32 cube IDE. Uh, there is a, an update or something, a trend going towards uh, running with Visual Studio Code. And uh, I have decided in this application to run it on Studio or uh, STM32 Cube IDE instead. But we run with file, new, an STM32 project. And then it can take some time before all the dependencies have started. Okay, so now this has started and we go under example selector and then we go down to the tab uh, middleware and we expand the middleware and then we look for the uh, network driver for the ST67 which we installed the Xcube uh, packages in the last video and if you haven't so just go back to the last video and I will show you how to do it. Uh, but we've done it, so now we can just highlight in this one, and then we can see that, uh, see that we have 20 items available for us. And uh, we can then see all the projects that we saw in the, on the wiki page, and we're looking for the Echo project. So we have here the Echo project, and there are a couple of them, so we need to then select which hardware we are using. And in my application, I will be using the same hardware as I did in the last video, and that is the U, uh, STM32 U575 uh, demo board, so I, which I have done here. Uh, so we have this file here, and if we click on that one, we will just come back to this one. So it's a bit annoying. Uh, if you, but now we know it's there, so we hit the next button. And it asks us to get just uh, the project name and we don't have to uh, fiddle or we can just accept that one. Great, so now the project is done for us. Uh, we can just try to build it and hope that there is no errors. And there wasn't any errors, and uh, we can then uh, try to deb debug it. And to debug it, you need to have this uh, USB cable connected to the ST-Link port, not to the USB-C port, to the ST-Link port. That is crucial. 
So it says download verified uh, successfully. So we have downloaded the software uh, that we compiled into the microcontroller. So before we can then hit uh, run, we need to configure our UART and uh, in, in uh, PuTTY. So I will be using PuTTY and I have set my uh, settings in this session. Now we can see if we can find that. Uh, my COM port is COM8, it will be different on, on your application, in your device. And uh, you need also to change the board rate to 921600. Uh, so it's quite a high board rate. Uh, so I have just saved that one and we apply it. So now we have COM8 here. And we hit run. So we can see it's starting and it scans all the uh, Wi-Fi uh, access points that are available for us. And then it says uh, it tries to connect to a Wi-Fi and it says uh, it has an error and uh, failed to connect. The reason for it that we have here is we actually need to tell it what Wi-Fi wi net it should be accessing and uh, the SSID and the password for it. So we do like this, we break that one. So we have now come back to the uh, STM32Cube IDE. So we can go under application, user, appli, app, and then we have the main app.c. So if we open that one, and then we also can see that there is this include file that we need to uh, make some changes to. And that is called appconfig.h. So if we highlight that one and open declaration, that file will open for us. So there we have the appconfig.h. Now we need to go down to see the SSID. Here we have it on line 70. It says my, S my SSID and my password. That is what it tried to connect to and that failed for some obvious reason. So now I have pasted in my uh, credentials for my Wi-Fi and I also put the Wi-Fi password here to you in plain text and that is a security breach, but you don't have to worry. I only have this Wi-Fi uh, enabled when I do these videos, so it's disabled else. Uh, but now remember to do something. Uh, if you have just changed these and you now, now I do f uh, a fault uh, on, on purpose just to make sure that you don't do the same stupid thing as I did. I just build and there was no errors. I download it into the microcontroller. download it successfully and we hit enter and we hope now that we should have a connection. But still, hmm, why? And it drew, drew me crazy for a bit uh, until I found it. So that is why I'm showing you this as well. I think that ST have made some changes because prior I'm not sure, but I think that prior you were not um, uh, forced to hit save uh, because when you built it, it automatically saved all the files, all the changes before it compiled. Uh, I think that was the case before, but it doesn't do that any longer. So if now you can see that th there is a small star above this app config.h. That means that there are unsaved changes. So if we now then save the changes, then that little star disappears. We build the project again, same as before. It built without any errors and we download the code again. Download it successfully and we can run the program again. So now it says it's connected to the Piatek talk. 
Uh, so just remember to save. <laughs> that is the, the point there. Yes, now we can see at least that the, the program is running. And if you want to know exactly what the program is doing, you can take a look in this echo project. So this video was aimed for you to see how you program uh, or take in one of these applications. And there are several other applications that you can select from. This was the echo. You have other applications that you can choose from and dive into. And this video was mainly to see how you do it. This concludes this video. Uh, if you are not a subscriber, please consider to do so. It's free of charge. And also hit the bell, because it's not enough that you are a subscriber. When I uh, release a new video, it's not sure that uh, YouTube's algorithm show you this video. But if you hit the bell, it will. Stay safe. Bye.